Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you some ideas or tips on how you can store or organize new items using the same package that they came in. I bought some like jewelry supplies, but this can work as well for like any item. So the first thing that I do is like open the package itself, like removing the staples with my scissors. What I don't want here is just to break that bag because I'm going to be using it. So the reason I do this is not only because I want this to be organized and like stored without the packaging itself, it's because I want to keep the information of like the items just for reference and in case I like them and I want to buy more, I know what they're called, the brand, the measurements of it, anything that will help me if I like it in the store or just online, find the product easily. I'm going to be cutting, gathering, taping the information and then I'm going to be taping this to my back use some double-sided tape just so that it looks pretty and it's right there this bag is folded so in that fold I'm going to be taping my information and that same weight of the cardboard is going to be making some weight so it doesn't like open itself and it just makes a mess I'm just leaving this open so it's easy access anytime I need one of this open the lid open the bag and it's ready to go for the other ones it's pretty much the same I'm taping this to the opening of the bag packages are pretty much different it depends and you have to go according to your package like what makes sense to do so we have those bags right and some products come packaged in like plastic boxes or stored in plastic so we're going to be using those removing the excess on the plastic in here and this same for the lid and then this is going to be creating a tiny box where i can store my package and again i'm going to be taping the information that's because i think these items um, are pretty cute and now i have the name for whenever I want to buy more. They sell a bunch of like in small tiny containers or just big ones and those are great to have but just a tip that I have for you especially if you buy stuff online if you were to buy those things again just make a label or just keep the information of like the seller the name of the product the name of the store those things that will help you to find the item next time if you want to buy more. Tape that there somewhere for instance I bought this off of Amazon I mean I probably never will have to buy other of this again because I bought a lot lifetime supply worth of this ones so I'm pretty much set I think but I never got the like information the seller anything but say if I got less of this one and I didn't save any information I wouldn't know where to buy the same ones what I do with my necklaces is take a picture send it to my email so next time I'm looking for like this chains I know what they're called but yeah guys I just wanted to share with you this just because I was organizing them anyways and I thought I would share just in case somebody wanted some ideas it helps me a lot to just keep the names of like the stuff that I bought and I like but yeah hopefully you like it and found this helpful please let me know give this a thumbs up to check out more accessories that I have on my channel and subscribe for more thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye